Growing up in North Buffalo, Phil Arno's curiosity was piqued at an early age. Well, I can't think of a time when I was growing up when we didn't have around our household Life Magazine or Popular Science or Popular Mechanics. When I was just looking through these magazines and marveling at what was going on in the world. In college, Phil got his start in promotions at WKBW Radio with the late, great Jeff Kay. But his passion for photography took him from radio to Eyewitness News and WIVB Channel 4. The process of, of getting news became almost a competitive thing. It was almost like sports. But News Force Phil Arno was first on the scene. I was always very competitive when it came to sports. And I guess that's part of my nature is my, I'm very competitive. So when I heard something on a scanner, it was almost like, okay, now, you know, they're off to the races. If I could get to a story before anybody else, I win. From Buffalo, Phil headed west for two tours of duty in Southern California. Los Angeles was such a great market for news. Let's go live to Phil Arno, who's flying overhead in Skyfox, and give us the very latest. Phil? Phil Arno is in Skyfox over the scene. I saw things in Los Angeles that, you know, a, a kid from North Buffalo, you know, could only dream of if you were in this business. <laughs> saw, you know, major, major stories, the earthquake, the O.J. Simpson white bronco chase. Phil garnered awards for his work in the field and then in the air as one of the top chopper videographer reporters. I spent close to 10 years of my life in helicopters, and I enjoyed every minute in that helicopter, right up to the last minute. Oh, no. Oh, that wasn't so good. Undaunted by the life-changing crash, Phil Arno pushed on with family by his side. I spent 10 years in a helicopter and three years in a wheelchair. Was it worth it? You know, I never think about that. And I could have stayed in Los Angeles and I could have resumed my career or at least been comfortable out there. But I wanted to raise my children in Buffalo because I knew that was a good place to grow up. And Western New York is home. Now Phil has an extended family at the local television station he is building, WBBZ. Everybody cares deeply for um, the mission, believes in Phil's uh, vision of uh, being community-based, touching the community, being a vibrant part of the community, making a difference. Tim Russert and I used to play uh, uh, sports back at Kenesha's High School. And Tim named me Tiger because I never knew when to give up on the, on the court. And whether it was the football uh, field or the basketball court, um, I just, you know, I just kept, kept at it. I kept at it, and I never knew when to give up. And Phil's journey is not over.